Well, it's a bit of a snowy day out here in Colorado. <laughs> anyway, today is day 130, 236 days left in the year. And 2024 is 35.52% complete. This is a crazy snowstorm. It just started really snowing hard. It's all getting all over the book. Maybe I'll undo this umbrella real quick. Can you hang on for me? I'll look at the view and then I'll come right back. Let me just undo this because that way I can stand here and talk to you. I know I could do it inside, but how boring is that? Oops, that would be really boring. Okay, I almost knocked the camera over. <laughs> As I do this, Ooh. I only thought I had planned for this. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Maybe I should start all over, huh? Okay, there, there, now I can have my book not be all wet. That was sad, I was like, wow, that just started really snowing. Okay. It's a good thing I got another book so I could have, you know, because I marked this one up with all kinds of stuff. And how did that go down? I was so ready for this video. <sighs> there we go. Look how beautiful that is. Let me see where the best view is for you. Because it's a little bit... This is the umbrella. <laughs> You've probably never seen an umbrella before. Okay. So, that's a little bit better. So, today, as I said, it's day 130. It's May 9th. So here's your passage for today. I find myself in joy. I find myself in my enthusiasm for living. I find myself in my goals and in my dreams. And I find myself in the path I choose to follow. You know, it's really importante that you understand the power of choice. The power of choice, the ability to make a choice about something, that's a real gift. Because you make, I don't know how many choices. I, I read or studied it somewhere. I don't know, but lots of choices in a day. You decide what you're going to wear. You decide what time you're going to get up. You decide what you're going to say to somebody. You decide what you're going to eat. You decide what you're not going to eat. You're, you decide, you know, what you're going to do at work. And you're, you prioritize or you, you decide you're going to prioritize. You're going to set a goal or you're not going to set a goal. Or you're not going to prioritize. Or you're going to watch a program. You're going to go somewhere choice after choice after choice all day long. Can you imagine if you are very aware, very mindful of the choices that you made every day and that not like every single one, but if you were just, just mindful of those choices, that would be life transforming because then you would have all of your choices. You would have like, you'd be thinking, is this a good choice? Is this the, is this best and highest for me right now? Is this the uh, the choice that's going to serve my purpose the best and for today? Or is this going to be, is this going to serve others the best or whatever it is, but you're mindful of it. And, you know, we talk about neuroplasticity a lot because as I teach um, the just practical spirituality, which is what I teach and neuroplasticity is part of that because yes, there's a spiritual journey, and then there is the human experience. Those are the two parts of spiritual, uh, practical spirituality that I teach, that I came up with because, because I worked so hard on my own spirituality and, and I um, had many mentors, spiritual mentors, uh, that really helped me along the way. And along the way, I also found many tools and many of my own tools and and to to understand to to move through move through my life and make my life much more much easier to go through even you know especially i what i really wanted was in tumultuous tumultuous times because the last 3 years have been really really intense years for me and um like my hubby almost died several times and um, he was just really, really sick back a year ago, um, almost exactly a year ago, and um, was in the hospital for a really extended time. And it, it was a really difficult time, and he's much better now. Thank you. <laughs> and, and so homeopathy, that'll do that, plus intention, right, to heal. So 
so this this um, mindfulness when you know about you know the 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 practical spirituality and and the and all of the tools that I could possibly use for myself and all the tools that I could possibly get for you like I one of the tools I use is the drama triangle to teach people to understand where they're at in a certain situation or their lives it's really here's the tool of the drama triangle and then you get to see does, does that feel good or do I want to get out of there and I spoke about the drama triangle I'll go I'll go deeper into it I it's not something I want I'm going to go into not that I don't want to, I would love to, but then we'd be here for five hours. But anyway, because <laughs> I love that topic. But there's also things that I have learned in the spiritual, from my spiritual teachings and 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 from mentors and just in my journey. Like one of the things is everything is a message to me for positive change. So every single time something happened, I knew that... Um, and, and one of my my um, mentors in particular, she would tell me, you know, there's always something around the corner. Like there's always something that's that's the highest and best for you around the corner. And all you have to do is know it. And or something to that effect. I may have put my my these are probably this is my own words at this point. But maybe I should do this. Oh, maybe not. OK, so <laughs> then I'll knock my block off. OK, my hat. But anyway, I just need to cover my ears because it is a little bit chilly. So everything is a message to me for positive change. When you get that in the spiritual world, that there is absolutely, there is no wrong or right, black or white. There's no good or bad. There's um, just, it, I have to let the dogs in, but I'm going to come right back on that thought. Okay. Okay. Want to go? Apologies, 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 but I wanted you to, to be part of this beautiful, I'm so excited with the snow. But anyway, so everything is a message to me for positive change. When you know that, you know that everything's going to be fine. And you know that spiritually, you are you are not this body. This is not who you are. This, this is a container, and I believe that you chose this container. Uh, not this container, but your container. <laughs> I chose this container. But it has everything in it. It has it has our essence, right? So the spirit, so the spirit resides within, and and the, and the spirit is what moves us and animates us, and and so. But it has our thoughts, right? And we talk a lot about neuroplasticity, and for the human experience. And I don't want to get off that, but I'm I'm just talking about the spiritual. At this, I mean, just what I'm doing is just giving you kind of a basics of the container that we chose. So this is here on planet Earth, yet within the vessel the container that we've chosen yes it has our bones and our organs and and it has our peepers and you know and all the the different parts of us it also has our thoughts it has our our um our creativity it has you know we we can nourish it or we can choose to malnourish it we can choose to have really negative thoughts and create ripples in the spiritual world of in the energy it, it's all energy of negativity and and we can um there's it's just it's just everything that is us all of it plus spirit right essence light we are light beings so that's that's where we are spirit light beings whatever you want to call that essence that's what we really are and then we embody, we choose a, a physical body to navigate planet Earth. And as we go walking around having our individual experiences <laughs> through this, because we are one, we are all from the one energy, one universe, one, one God, one consciousness. And, and when, we, when we start to, when we start to understand the power of it, these spiritual things like everything is a message to me for positive change and understanding that there's something right around the corner that's even higher and better than what I wanted in the first place or where I was going or um, I'll take for example like well this I thought we had just built this house and I thought we were going to have to sell it and I got it ready for sale we hadn't we had moved in 
we hadn't actually fully moved in. And I thought because of where my hubby's health was, I thought it was, we were done. And, and so, so I had to, you know, get it after all the two years plus whatever of building it and everything else, I had to get it ready for sale. And I had to, this is another spiritual uh, tenant, if you will, but that's to detach, not be so, not be attached to it. And it, and all the stuff that was happening, it was a very tumultuous time in my life, but I let it go. I let it go. And I love this place. Like it's beautiful. Wee! I love it. I love it. It's so amazing. And then the views that you have seen, I just, I feel so amazing when I'm here. And I had to let go and get it ready to sell. So when I let go, it's really interesting. I've had many experiences when I let go, when I detached, when I let go of it's, but it's my dream home and we built it and this is where we're supposed to live. And, and when I let go of all that and said, highest and best, there's something better for me around the corner. And, and it was, you know, everything is a message to me for positive change, even this, even as difficult as it was. And that gave me the fortitude to keep on going. So this, I, I share this with you because I want to get into just the peace that it gave me and the years that it took me to go through the spiritual teachings. And now the reason I incorporated the, the human experience in my teachings of practical spirituality, because everything I teach is tools. It's easy to implement. It's about, it's easy for you to understand and, and implement it right away. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's not a concept that you have to think through or or something like everything is a message to me for positive change. What does that mean? So, so I get into a car accident and I break my leg or something and that's a message to me for positive change. Yes, yes, it is. And um, I very much believe that it absolutely is. And that there's something around the corner that's even higher and better. Has there ever been a time in your life that you were going to do something, you were going to go somewhere, something, and then like maybe you were going to get on the road and then there was like a huge traffic jam or there was a big accident or something and you're just like, glad I didn't get on the road. Or somebody from your family that was going to come and see you and, and then there was a huge blizzard or something and, and, and they couldn't make it, like they couldn't get the, the ticket or something or they had something going on. And so then all of a sudden they couldn't make it and you were so disappointed or whatever. And then there's like a huge blizzard or, or flood or something. And you're like, man, I'm so glad that, that they didn't, you know, uh, they didn't fly and, or an airplane crashes or something. There's so many of those situations that happen. And, and because either you're to go another path or there's the, the universe is always there for you. The universe, I'm just going to say how I believe, you are the universe. You are an individual expression of the one, and you direct that energy. So so as, so as, I, what I want to share with you is in going into the, the part of practical spirituality, which I really talk about a lot here, and that is the neuroplasticity. That is the human experience. And neuroplasticity is a big part of that because you can rewire your brain. And I always put the app that will help you get there much more quickly and, and effortlessly, very honestly, for the most part, because you're listening passively while you're doing something else for only 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes, maybe at 15 in the morning, 15 at night. And, and, and so, when you get to, the, when you understand the power that you hold as a human, that you can change your programs, you start to see the power that you really hold and what you can really do and change and be, become. And, and the reason I really wanted to, to really start this finding your purpose is because the purpose is what gives you meaning on this planet and it gives you the direction that you want to go. I could say you need to go, but it's you want to go. You don't have to go any direction, but it's with ease 
that you go through that direction. This is why I incorporated the human experience into my teachings of practical spirituality, because this is something very practical that you can practice, you can do, you can listen to these programs to program your, your brain. So this, this passage today that I find myself in my joy. I find myself in my enthusiasm for living. I find myself in my goals and in my dreams. I always get excited when I read these as I start going. And I find myself in the path I choose to follow because we started with choices. And you have choices. You have, you now understand if you've been following me for a while, we've been doing this since November of last year. And that you have the ability to rewire your brain. And if you're new, please go watch, uh, you know, a few of my other videos on here, but I'm going to tell you something, you know, neuroplasticity, um, if you want to deliberately wire your brain with the right programs, research, ha researchers have identified seven, oops, seven, um, rules of neuroplasticity. If you want to have the most amazing success and I'll, I'll just read those really quickly. There are mindfulness choices, intention, focus, repetition, emotion, and belief. And I'm just going to touch on mindful mindfulness today um, just a little bit because when you are mindful of what you're doing and the programs that you're putting into your brain and the, the people that you choose to surround yourself with and all of that, it's it, it becomes a whole different ball game, if you will, of life. Because all of a sudden, you're calling the shots. What we were talking about before, all the choices you make in a day. And and that's like the choice to find yourself in joy. The choice to find yourself on the path that you choose to follow. The choice to find your purpose. These are choices. And mindfulness, look at it this way. It is paying attention to paying attention. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever paid attention to what you were paying attention to? Have you like stepped back and observed like, wow, I'm really putting my focus on that. And um, so the mindfulness, this happens in your prefrontal cortex of your brain. And this helps you to manage your thoughts. Like this is helping you that that area of the brain helps you to manage your thoughts. So if you want your brain to do something special for you, then um, all you have to do is really pay extra attention like really put your the be mindful so that your brain knows exactly what it is that you are that you really want to happen and so it, it can accomplish that for you so it can help you to accomplish that your brain is a tool your brain is a tool here on planet earth to help you get to where you want to go and it gets programmed from birth as we talked about from from the very beginning and those programs, they take you, they can take you down a road that is a, a road where you think you're less than, not worthy, and, and just things that are harmful, they're not true, and they stop you from getting to where you want to go in life. So anyway, the, the reason I wanted to mention that is, my book is really getting wet because it's, um, the reason I wanted to mention that is because when you think about neuroplasticity and 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 really and maybe you're not thinking okay neuroplasticity neuroplasticity by the way it's repetition that's going to get you where you want to go which is why I highly recommend the the app so that you can program your brain but when you think about being mindful and you think about um, paying attention to what you you want to pay attention to like being mindful of what you're paying attention to like really move away and say, what am I, what am I focused on? Cause you are manifesting 24 seven. You are manifesting every single second. Like you're manifesting right now. I'm manifesting right now. So this is, this is really beautiful. It's not something like, let me teach you how to manifest. I mean, there are lots of wonderful teachers that can teach you how to manifest, but when you understand the underlying principles and more than that, when you have your brain in the right place with the right programs that is willing to accept what those teachers tell you, and and you're like, okay, I got this. Now I can. Now I really got it because you've got those. You're creating more, uh, more neuronal activity. The neurons in your brain are firing off. You're creating these new neural pathways, 
And, and then your brain's just going to do what you tell it to do, what you wire in, what is repeated the most. So this is why I'm constantly telling you about this app, which is not my app. And, um, and, and it's, it's Dr. Shad Helmstetter's app, what he created. It's the, um, it's, 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 it's anyway, it's his app and, or he created it. And so this is, this is why you have so much power. You can do anything. You are unlimited. And to help you reach the unlimited of your amazing, magnificent potential that you have unlimited promise and potential what you were born with and those programs just got covered up like that that potential and that promise just got covered up with programs like 77 percent or more of negative programs telling you what you couldn't do what couldn't happen and what you were not good at and all of those programs are there and that's what's that's what's you're working through and sometimes you wonder man, why do I self-sabotage? Why, why do I feel this way? Why am I judging? Why am I, why am I triggered by this? Why? It's your programs. It's your programs. And, and when you, when you say somebody's right, and I did this one yesterday, but I'm right, you're wrong. When you're telling somebody that you're looking at somebody and you're judging them, you know, they're from another country or they, they wear certain clothing that you don't approve of or like, or, or don't prefer, or, you know, they have horrible table manners or <laughs> whatever it is, you know, and you judge them to be less than you. You, you might not say I'm judge. I'm, I'm not judging them. And I'm not saying I'm better than them or they're less than me. But what you are saying is I'm right. They're wrong. They should change their clothes to, to my standards. They should wear what I think they should wear. That's, that's what it is. You know, the, when, when they say, some people have said, you know, that people coming in to this country or any other country, it's like, go back to your own country. Well, that's also a program and not to get into um, politics, but everything, like even politics, where you stand, you know, in the United States, Democrat, Republican, I know there's independent as well, but it, those are programs. You, you were taught, you learned which one was better or best. And, and so this is why this is, and, and this is not to get into politics or anything. It's to help you understand that your brain is your playground and you get to choose the most amazing programs. You get to decide what's, what's important to you and what's not. And I'm going to go just a little bit deeper on, I, I just want to give you one little example of that, of this programming because what if as a little baby and I think I've shared this before or just this this example but what if as a little baby you were taken just whisked away from the United States and you were taken taken to an eastern country what would you be thinking of the people in the United States what who would you be praying to what would you be eating you might like pizza and everything here and and then, but I mean, now today, but if you weren't here and you were like whisked away at, you know, at a month old and you were growing up with that culture, can you really say that you would be who you are today? Or would you have another culture? Would you be in, in, um, involved, engaged in the culture that you learned? Would you be involved, engaged with the politics of that culture? Would you like these people from this country and dislike those people from that country because you're part of that Eastern country. Can you really say, oh no, I wouldn't think like that. This just gives you a very big example that you can actually see that this is, this is humongous, your programs, and it is being programmed. And programs are not, these are your mental programs. programs. This is not a good thing or a bad thing unless you want it to be. It's for me, this is like the brain and reprogramming, rewiring your brain and knowing that you want to put like self-esteem to have high self-esteem in your brain is it's so liberating. It's so exciting and it gives you full control over your life. You're the one that has control. You can't take care of things that are happening 
outside, but can you put your focus, I mean, outside things like, and I've mentioned like wars and that kind, those kinds of things. If you put your focus on it, and, and if you, if you um, put your attention on it, remember when you're, you're telling your brain like what you want it to accomplish. And so if you're, if you're mindful and thinking, this is really what I want my brain to think about these people or this situation or that or whatever. And um, your brain is just recording it. And, and the more that you repeat it to yourself, the more you hear it, the more people that you're involved in doing that, the more it becomes wired into your brain as true, whether it was false in the beginning or not. So this is how you create your own reality. And this is why when I talk to you about your choices, I talk to you about um, the things that you can do to change your programs. And if more and more of us were mindful, and that, that's this is the first rule of neuroplasticity that can really change our lives. The more of us that are doing this for ourselves and changing the way that get taking on the programs that we want that can do rather than what we can't do and what can't be done and we focus on what can be done and and all these things will just as 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 people as humanity will rise and when you find your purpose within all of that if you like your overarching purpose you find your purpose and and just everything shifts for you absolutely everything shifts for you because now you have the programs of self-esteem you know who you are you know what you want you no longer are like pushed and pulled because you 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 can have an opinion that's fine it's it's i mean it's this is just for you to understand your power this is i share all of this especially neuroplasticity and practical spirituality the the human experience because you get to create your human experience and you get to decide if it's struggle and difficult and it's how you look at it it's your perspective it's the picture you paint for yourself about something i mean i i painted many negative pictures for myself and it took me eight years to pretty much just get out of bed and, and not want to kill myself. And um, because I attempted many times, as, I, as I've shared with you before. And I had a very dismal, bleak picture of who I was. And, and first of all, I was looking at me, Lenny, this, what you're seeing right now, which is not really me at all. Because I can change. I, I may not change the all of this, I may get older and I might change the, my hair color or the clothes or that's part of the human experience. And that's a fun part because <laughs> you can do any of that. But I'm talking about my programs, my self-esteem. I could be just like, oh, I don't know if I should go on camera today because I don't look good. Huh? Or I could say, yeah, I get to go on camera today because I have something to share. I have something that can really help people to change their lives. And can you imagine if more of us had this perspective of what we could do and what we can do and what can be done rather than the opposite. So that's contrast, right? The contrast of what the negative and the positive. And I would love for you to be mindful of and, and thinking about your attention and, and what you're thinking about, like all of that is, that's going to help you to wire in those programs much more quickly. So that's what I have for you today after all of that. So you can find yourself in joy, right? I find myself in joy. I find myself in my enthusiasm for living. I find myself in my goals and in my dreams. And I find myself in the path I choose to follow. You choose to follow the path. You choose to rewire your brain for the programs that you choose to have so that you can have wonderful relationships. You can have financial strength. You can have winning relationships. You can have success in, in losing weight and be feeling more fit and stronger. You can choose to have programs running that help you in every single area of your life. And that's really how it goes because you get to choose. So we started a little bit on choices and we talked about where you can see yourself and we're in all of this. All of this is so beautiful because when you, when you find your purpose, 
And it's not, remember, I always say, ahoy, there's something outside of me. Where's my purpose? It's not that at all. It's inside. It's deep inside and it just takes reflection and really understanding what is so, what do you love? What is so easy for you to do? And then doing more of that, moving into that, engaging with that. And then pretty soon things start coming to you and unfolding. And, and then all of a sudden it's like, ah, oh, this is it. Okay, I know I'm supposed to help people, but I don't know how. And then you start, you know, baking and then you do a little YouTube video on it and you show people how, you know, this and they're like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. And then you do another little video to show them the how to and then, and you love baking, right? And then it just goes on and on and pretty soon you have a big arts YouTube channel or, or something else, a website or whatever else. I mean, with YouTube, you don't have control over your work unless you do you know, keep your stuff separate and put it on your website or something. But, but what I'm saying is that I'm not here to, to try and teach you business, <laughs> but, and, and that's another thing you can choose to have those programs wired in to have a successful, um, personal and professional life in your career. And so anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I know I do go, I've gone a little bit long on these things and maybe just in the, in the future, do them like one and a half speed, or maybe you're already doing it at two speed. Cause when I'm thinking I'm, I'm literally just as most of us do, we're using our brain and we're thinking, and I want to deliver the best information that I have and, and how to say it correctly, just to make sure that I'm understood and not misunderstood. So I love you so very, very much. You are awesome and amazing. You can do this. You can find your purpose. If you have found your purpose, you can definitely engage and move into it and activate it and activate it even more so if you've already activated it. So it's, it is a choice to find it and to set a goal. I, I tell you all the time, setting goals is a spiritual practice. Absolutely. You're bringing in from the invisible, you're bringing into the material world, into the visible world. So I love you so very, very much on us, always shining my light to brighten yours. And I'm going to go inside now because my nose is red and my fingers are red because <laughs> it's cold. But I really, I wanted to be outside because it's so beautiful here. And, and, I, and I wanted you to see the snow because I'm so excited about the snow. I wanted you to see it because I'm so excited about it. I just, it's just, it's May and there's snow and I thought maybe you would absolutely enjoy seeing it because you might be in Florida or someplace where it's really warm and look, it's all sticking on the ground. Isn't that pretty? It's just so beautiful. Look at that. So, so beautiful. It's amazing and it's so quiet and it just started sticking. So anyway, okay, now I spent more time. I love you very, very much. Oh, and we will see you tomorrow. Let me see what we're going to talk about tomorrow. I think I have a really cool thing for you. How is your self-talk? Are you getting it right? That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> now I got to smile and all of this. Take the serious Linny. And <laughs> I love this stuff. I really do. It's, it's sometimes, sometimes it's, it's, you know, requires a little bit of seriousness. And then you can move into the levity. Because I love having fun. In fact, that's one of my values, having fun. So I hope you've had fun with me today. I hope you've learned something and, and I hope to see you tomorrow. So love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.